Why are they worrying about things we can't see? <laughs> if, you just fed, if, you, if you blended up Carl's brain and fed it to someone, would it make any difference? No, no, they wouldn't would, even notice, would they? Would it register. Register. You put it into a leak, so leaks would go, oh, I don't know what I was doing. I was, I don't know what. Where was I going? I'm even I was, more confused. I don't know. Talking of leeches, did you see the dregs that they put into Big Brother last I've night? I've not been watching it. It's, I mean, it's bad enough anyway. It's a house full of people you wouldn't cross the road. Yeah. To, to, uh, to save, yeah, right? Yeah. But there's three, they've put in three more to spice up a little bit. They've, they've put in a low esteem model. Sure. Right? They've put in Mr. Bean, who is the whitest man I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a new race. Yeah. He's an easy through. And this thing that looks like Matt Lucas in a bikini. Wow. Unbelievable. The f the fat things on her back, I thought she was coming towards me. Really? It was unbelievable. And the first thing she said, she went in, she looked in the mirror, adjusted herself and went, Oh, me minge! <laughs> oh. Oh. It's, that, that's the level. Uh, it's un- Do these people have relatives? Do they have- is there anyone in the world who knows them, claims yeah. to be a friend of theirs? Family. Families. Do they have family there or the well, family yeah. just- no, have they just moved away? No, no. They're probably- their family- they're, well, like their family are probably quite proud of them. Because they're on the telly. Ugh. It's probably like, uh, saw your daughter last night saying, uh, all me minge on the telly. <laughs> yes, she was on the telly, wasn't she? <laughs> yes, she was on the telly. <laughs> but, but, what about the bit about all me minge? She got one out immediately, went, of course. <laughs> got it out, lo lobbed it out. Uh, uh, it's, it, I mean, it's unbelievable. It looks like an experiment. I can't watch it anymore. It's just too much now. These, because I, I can't relate to those people in the like in the first series. I always remember it was like it seemed like a genuine social experiment. Yeah, exactly. There was intrigue. There was drama. Yeah. It was, it was genuinely great hypnotic television. Now it's like putting ants in a jar and shaking. I it. Don't, yeah, I don't know what's. But even that, I, I couldn't watch that once a night every week. No, I know. It's just. It's, it is it's unbelievable that, that what that what people are willing to do now on the title because they've just put in people. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. You don't, you don't care about anyone. But I suppose what, what, what's good is that you want, you, I think you watch it now because you want one of them to fall over and hurt themselves. Yeah, or just choke on a chicken bone. <laughs> <laughs> and no one else in the house knows the Heimlich manoeuvre. <laughs> That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, feed them more chicken. <laughs> Send in more roast chicken. So we've got a wonderful celebration for you. <laughs> it's in the senses by feeder. On XFM, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right. All right. How are you doing, Carl? I'm all right. Yeah. Another well, holiday. Well, well, it wasn't holiday. It wasn't holiday. Well, it was. You had, you had five days off work. Why well, isn't it holiday? You had five days not working for a living. You know how many days holiday gets a year now? Twenty nine. Oh, that's it, more than teachers. Isn't it, it makes me sick. It makes me sick. Well, I know the kind of hours you work, Rick. <laughs> it's mad. I mean, if you're not in work by midday, you're furious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm always- Twenty nine's normal. For the normal working person. Yeah, but, you know- And anyway, it wasn't a proper holiday. I went to see my mum and dad. It's nice to see them and everything, but it's not holiday, is it? Really? It's not going away. It's not getting on a plane, is it? Going away. Oh, is that definitely a holiday? What happened before 1950? Hmm. I don't know. Who used to go- Yeah, exactly. Who used to go to Blackpool, Brighton? That was holiday. Yeah, but I didn't Where did you go? To, went to Wales. There you go. Lovely holiday. Lovely holiday. I have a holiday in Wales. That's what they say, innit? Have a, have a, come to the Wales and have a holiday. That's what <laughs> they say, innit? But, so, come to Wales and meet your parents. Come to Wales and have a lovely holiday. Right. Well, anyway, it was, uh, it was good and that. It's always good to see them. Yeah. But, um... Week off work. Do you know, do you know, like, my mum likes gnomes and stuff? Yeah. Right, uh... Of course she, she does. Said, oh, a, She's lived with one for 30 years. <laughs> she said, uh, you know, get your dad to take us to this, uh, to this park where they've got, uh, you know, six foot gnomes and stuff, right? <laughs> Have a walk about. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. It sounds like a living nightmare. Keep an eye on Carl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway. He stood still for two minutes, someone bought him. <laughs> no, 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 you can't buy him and that. It's like a, it's like a little exhibition thing. Yeah. Right? And it's part of a hall. Right, and this big hall that you have to pay to get in, but we didn't want to see the hall, I just wanted to see the gnomes. Of course right? you did, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, my dad says, yeah, well, we can, uh, we can get in there for free. Of course he did. Clever. Right? So, we parked up on this little country lane, right? <laughs> no one about. We How much does it to go in? Like two quid? About three quid each. Yeah. But he said, well, yeah, but if you don't have to pay, do you know what I mean? You enjoy it even more, don't you, when you're walking about and you think, I've got this three quid in my pocket, no one's having it. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, looking over the shoulder for a bloke with a peak hat saying, can I see your ticket, please? <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy it more, no. 
Go on. Yeah, but you don't worry about it. Do You've I? got a bit of money now then, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've changed. So anyway, yeah. so we had to walk across about four fields. <laughs> <laughs> For three quid! Right. And, uh, what happened was, uh, uh, we're walking through all these fields and what have you, big grass and muddy bits and all that, because it'd been raining, <laughs> and, uh, climbing over fences and stuff. And we're in this field, right, and I look to me right and there's about thirty cows all staring at us, right? And, uh, Suzanne started to panic a bit. She said, this isn't, we shouldn't be here. And Dad says, of course we can, we're allowed to go wherever we want, you know, all this land, it's, you know, it's rambler's rights and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, take us out a cow if you want, so, unattended. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, so it's right for leaving him in the field unattended, I'm having one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So keep us fed for a across. week. <laughs> anyway, these cows start surrounding us. <laughs> surrounding us? <laughs> and, uh, oh, brilliant! Oh no. Face <laughs> off! And Suzanne's panicking going, this isn't right, he's gonna, we're, we're not gonna make it to the fence in time. They, they, they're they moving faster than us and he started sort of running a bit. Wow. And, uh, it's like some kind of bovine West Side story. Don't- <laughs> A gang of cows <laughs> coming at you. Don't worry about it and stuff. But, uh, my dad had to sort of stand there and, like, wave a stick at him. Of course. And, and, uh, and we got away, but Suzanne was, like, having a bit of a sweat <laughs> on got him. away. And saying, uh, you know, we could have got killed. Sure. And my dad's saying, nah, it never happens. And I just <laughs> wondered if, if it does, if, if there's a risk of- Yeah, it's, it is rare, but, um, there's been a couple of cases of being trampled by cows. They're not aggressive, they sort of run through you. Well, they, they're aggressive if they've got a calf. Did they uh, have kids? A, 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 what? They had kids with them. Kids, yeah. That's a, that's a goat you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were trying to sneak into the gnome thing, <laughs> and they were worried that like if too many people did it, <laughs> like, they bought some cows, we can just sneak in. They were trying to, yeah. No one's expecting cows. And the cows were humans. going, walk upright like a Cuban. <laughs> Don't walk upright. <laughs> they thought you'd blow their cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people have been killed by cows before. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that was like the highlight, and then, uh... So when you arrived there, you were presumably covered in mud, looking like something that had just come from Glastonbury, staggering around this, this uh, it exhibition. Wasn't that, it wasn't that bad, it was just like a, a woods and it had like a, a funny sort of funeral pla- uh, like a graveyard thing. Right. Yeah. With bodies sort of hanging out the ground in that, and uh... Really? these six foot gnomes. Right. Uh, and then we... We just set off again, walked back. But we sure this wasn't a field. dream? No, it was good, it was good. But then, then I got back, right, Steve, and, uh, called up Ricky, I said, right, uh, you know, are you about? Have a chat and that. So he said, oh, I'll just come round, it's a, it's a nice day. Have a drink and what have you. So I got round there at about half past six, right? Uh, go up to his door, knock on his door, right? He stood there with his tackle out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and what, what did you make of that? What was wrong with that? What do you mean, what's wrong with Why that? Why were you looking at it? Why were you looking at it? I tried not to look at it. <laughs> but again, you're always sort of attracted to it, aren't you? <laughs> kind of like... <laughs> I've <laughs> never been attracted to another man's tackle. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you can't help but have a, have a little sly look. <laughs> Especially when it's there. When you, when you ring the bell, and I mean the, the one on the door, right? <laughs> and that's, that's hanging out. And does he dress to the left or the right? It was to the left, right? Yeah, it was left, yeah. Just pop- just popped out of my shorts. <laughs> or him. Just popped him out of the shorts. Should've seen the state of him. <laughs> shorts on, no top. A uh, cigar. <laughs> like someone out of Sopranos. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we, then we sat on the balcony drinking wine, didn't we? Did you pop it back in, or was it still- Yeah, I, put, I popped it straight back in. I've got the laugh. Sure. I've got the laugh that yeah. I wanted. Yeah. He walked in, he went, mm, it's not that hot. Straight away, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hot. Oh, brilliant. Then, uh, was that knob news, or was there more? No, it's got more knob news. That's just a taster. Just a taster. Listen, let's play some average, let's play some great music, and maybe we should have some early knob news. Early knob news coming up. 